Hey ho, welcome back! Remember that time? That time that we cut up Stephanie for science and for funsies and to see what was happening on the inside, but mostly just for funsies. Now here's me thinking, it was fun. It was, but it was really rather irresponsible. And my mama always told me to put things back the way I found them. I mean, I never did do that, but I do feel as though there are things we can... I mean, I am not finished with Stephanie yet. So today, we shall endeavour to put her back together using glue and a serious amount of optimism. <laughs> there are a lot of parts, like, just hacked off. Okay, so, yeah. Um, should be super easy, right? Because all we need to do is glue... Yeah, let's just go. Let's just get to it. So let's get started. First thing I've done, I've accidentally overexposed my camera, so everything's washed out. But I'll see if I can fix that with anything. I'm going to use this super glue, which I wouldn't normally use. I'd normally use a two-part epoxy because it's much stronger, but it takes 24 hours to, to completely cure, and I'm just too lazy for that. So this takes five minutes. <laughs> and I mean, doesn't that just give you a good indicator of how strong it's going to be? But I'm going to try. I'm going to try this. It's got good reviews, this super glue. Uh, yeah, so it's an experiment. So magic editing five minutes is gone and this has oh, not stuck right <laughs> okay so let's try that again take two but this time I love the fact that this is like not all runny like the super glow I normally use it's a gel gel stuff so we'll try again put more of it there on the torso and I'll just try just smoothing the edges off because otherwise it's gonna just dry in a lump on the front that's not what we want we want Stephanie to look like normal again oh, do we? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, so that side, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue the other side too. We are just <laughs> relying on a wing and a prayer today. Oh my gosh, we're living recklessly. So here's the other side. We'll clean up that glue too. The glue too. Nice. And I've got a little bit left on the toothpick there. So that's going to give me an indicator of whether the stuff in that I've put on her will be dry and I can, yeah, check. So We'll leave the torso over here and we can start putting to <laughs> I'll start putting this leg <laughs> back together. I'm already losing the plot. So should we start putting the leg together or start putting the leg onto the No, let's put the leg let's put these two parts together and then stick it onto the leg. Uh no, sorry, onto the skirt part. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean obviously this is not gonna go well. I've I've uh I gouged bits out <laughs> when I was cutting it, but we'll just see. We'll see how we go. I mean, the good part about the fact that this is, if the super glue doesn't hold and it just, and I crack this leg off, we can just try again. We'll just try again. <laughs> okay, so this is, let's give that five minutes. Nice. And now let's try gluing that onto the skirt, to the skirt piece and seeing whether we can make this look just make her look new again new and fresh and unbutchered up so putting this on here this is going to be the trickiest part let's put a little bit on just up here and by little bit i mean a lot so i want to put it on there and i'm actually deliberately trying to angle this <laughs> because yeah i'm not trying to make her look normal we're gonna try and make a zombie stephanie which just makes this perfect because it doesn't have to be perfect because zombies are basically broken so she's broken but put back together again it's not gonna matter if she looks odd ha see this <laughs> trick chisel you already knew that because you'd seen the cover page but i'm gonna need more of this here by the way use is not a word do not use it I'm sorry, it is a word. A word for female sheep, but it is not used in the context that I've used it. Now I'm confused and said used too many times trying to get this leg on so that actually looks as though it's deliberately put on wrong. I mean, that looks deliberately put on wrong, but no. Let's get it. If I just set it out a little bit. Oh, that's cute. All right, so that looks good. Let's just put a little bit more on around the sides. I mean, I don't know where it's going to get. I don't know how this glue is going to go, but... Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Should be right. Should be right, mate. Right. Okay. So <laughs> let's leave this alone for a moment. And this has had longer than five minutes to cure. I wandered off, had a cup of tea, and then I've come back, and I think that's pretty good. Uh, so when we put the torso back on, she's obviously got a massive split down her middle, which is gonna be fine because she's a zombie now. I mean, you wondered what happened to the OG girls in the reboot. This is what's happened to Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Uh, but all right, so let's see. She's not... S no, I'm going to leave her hair alone. If we just give her some zombie hair, maybe, I, I might be able to avoid having to do too much 
messing about with her now. I don't know though. That just looks like somebody's dropped a bowl of jelly on her head. Let's try some of the other cool hair pieces that we've been provided with. This one just looks like, I don't know, a lime green updo. It's not going to work. And this one's good though. This is where the ectoplasm's eating her head. But that's not what we're going for. We're looking for a zombie version. So I'm going to... Uh, Let's just start painting. And one day I'm going to remember, I always put a piece of paper down to protect my table surface, but I never tape it down. It just moves under my hands all the time. One day I will be less lazy, but uh, was well, not today. Today is not the day. So I'm going to try and give her a bit of a um, decaying look. So <laughs> she's starting to get moldy. And I've watered this paint down because I just wanted it to look a little bit like a wash, but it's really hard to achieve that. And now these are not very balanced. It doesn't matter, but this doesn't matter. And now this one's got too much. I should have used a bigger brush too. So many should have today uh, because this brush isn't holding very much paint, but let's just leave her legs alone. Let's put some on her arms. Mold growing everywhere. A little bit inside her torso, a little bit on this arm. And I think that that looks uneven and terrible and too strong. So I'm actually going to just take her away and wash her. And now what we have left is just like a little bit of mold happening, but we're going to, I'm going to glue her torso to her skirt because, and on an angle. So it look, so she'll look wonky, deliberately wonky. <laughs> so let's do that. And then I can mess about with the split. It's going to be like a big, she's got a big gash in her torso. So let's play with that. Let's utilize that. But first up, we have to wait for this glue to dry. Imagine if I had have waited 24 hours for each of these glue components to dry. I would never have got this video done in time for Halloween. So, you know, this super glue seems to be holding quite well, actually. So in this big gash, going to start with dark, dark, dark with black. So this is like the dried blood. <laughs> and oh my goodness, it would be so cool to have like her entrails. Oh, I've got super glue on the brush. That's not good. My goodness, this brush will be useless for evermore, but we'll keep using it for now. So I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so let's start on her eyes because she, sh once again, I've just made this too watery because I just kind of wanted a wash. Like her eyes have got the dark shadows around them. <laughs> I've just blacked her eye holes out, which is also creepy in its own way. <laughs> but if I get a, if I get my brush and I clean it off and I dry it off, I can actually suck a bit of this out. But before I do that, I want to use the toothpick just to drag it down her face a bit, like, like tears, like her uh, mascara is dribbled. So use that brush to pull it out and I've pulled out too much. I think, uh, should I leave it till it's all dry or should I go back in and try again? I think I'm in the state of mind today to just keep poking at it and probably destroying it. But let's put a little bit more, a little bit more black up here while it's still wet. And oh, that looks much better. I wonder if I can just drop a bit more over it. No, I've done too much on this side too. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe when it dries, her eyes will actually, will actually be able to be seen a bit more under there. <laughs> yeah, I can pull that away a bit from her eye. Try the other, th yeah, try the other. That looks right. Yeah, I'll leave that alone. Now, her break on her leg, we need to darken that too. And then, so we'll start with black and then I'll add some dark red over it too. Like it's, it's an unhealed, completely broken leg. <laughs> it's just snapped, but still being used. Now for the gash in the middle of her body, I'm going to use some two-part epoxy here for this. Well, two-part putty. This is called green stuff. So you get the two parts in even amount. And you just like squish them up together and it becomes super sticky. It's like trying to mold with chewing gum, which is one of my least favorite things to do. But if you wet your fingers when you're trying to mold it, it works much better. Well, it doesn't stick to your fingers as much, but I'm just going to be filling this gap and having this spilling out like it's the mold from her intestines from this big cut, <laughs> which is probably the cause of her death. <laughs> this is going to be squeezing out. So I'm going to push it in and still have some coming out. And this really doesn't matter how neat this is, which is good because I'm just not in, not doing neat at the moment. Oh, sticking to the toothpick. If I wet the toothpick, it will not stick to the toothpick. There we go. Let's squeeze that in here. Oh, it's already looks so much better. I'm glad I didn't, glad I didn't just leave it alone. My <laughs> guts are coming out. Whee! Right, let's get it around the corner here. And should I, 
I mean, when I was a kid, I used to just do the front of my, I used to make dresses for my Barbies and I used to just do the front and the back was just basically sticky tape together. And I, sometimes I feel like doing that with the mini dolls too. I'm just, it's all just about the front. No one's going to look at the back. But I think once I've got the front here squished into position and I'm just getting this green stuff everywhere, it's pretty hard to clean up too once <laughs> it dries. So I need to find... I mean, it doesn't matter if she gets bits in other places because she's, yeah, she's grubby. She, she grubby. She's grubby. She's seen some hard times. But I keep squishing this with my fingers around the side. We'll get into the back in a moment. I just want to get the front looking all right. So let's get a bit for the back, squish it in two, and then curve it around the side. <laughs> a bit more paint here on her leg, and then we'll just leave that to dry. So I did give this 24 hours because I will need to paint over the green stuff and it needs to be completely cured. So let's make this absolutely gooey and gory. And I mean this, I, I actually went into this wanting to make like a kawaii cute style kind of zombie for Stephanie. <laughs> we just, we flipped entirely to the dark side because it was just so much easier. <laughs> I think quite cute would have required much more neatness than I'm capable of at this stage. So it's nice and easy to make it gooey and gross and I'm enjoying it. I'm having a great time. How are you going? I <laughs> hope you're doing okay. I'm not too scarred by the fact that Stefan is now zombie. But that's all right. She's We've breathed new undead life into her. Otherwise she would have just remained as little parts in my my parts bin. <laughs> okay, so her her leg, we're adding some nice drippy blood. It's oh, I think that this blood looks too fresh, but maybe the blood isn't just her blood. Maybe the blood is other people's bloods too. So she's got bloods on her hands from where she has been busy indulging her brains obsession. Mmm, brains. Now we're gonna get that blood up here, and I just well, got her skirt really, really manky. So if I maybe drip some of the, no, it kind of wanted her skirt to look tattered. But I don't know that I'm going to achieve this because I'm just, I made up my wet palette to put my paints on and they're just too wet. I'm just not, I'm pretty thoughtless today with how I'm working with stuff, but that's okay. It's all going to work out all right. We'll make it work. And some big holes in <laughs> with the black splotches, black, black splotches, and we'll add some uh, red to them too. That would probably look better if it was darker because at the moment it all looks like, the, the blood all looks a bit fresh, whereas I think that her blood would be bit gangrenous it should be more green let's put some under her eye anyway we got I got all this red on the <laughs> red on the brush let's <laughs> just use it let's use it okay bit more down here <laughs> oh my goodness yeah I've definitely lost the plot all right so I've let this dry now should I do anything with her hair I mean the rest of her is so broken but I just love the juxtaposition of her hair being pristine and not a hair out of place Stephanie is yeah you can, t you can turn me into a zombie but don't touch my hair all right she's ready let's put her in the graveyard give her some brains mm, brains and of course she's gonna need some reading material because she can't always be out hunting brains but you know she's got specialized reading material for her specialized new look <laughs> so I fixed Stephanie I mean, all of you guys who were so horrified when I cut her up, I fixed her. Are you thankful? I hope so. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. I hope you get all of the candy and eat yourself into an absolute sugar coma. Have a good day. And I'll be back with more videos really soon. So I will see you then. <laughs> Bye.